Facts. This is Let Me Explain. 101. Plain answers, no jargon. Hello, explorers. It's your buddy Rex again. Today we're firing up the engines, spreading our wings, and... Wait. Do I even have wings? Anyway, buckle up, because we're diving into one of the boldest promises you'll hear in 2025. Serbia? Yes, Serbia says flying cars could become reality by 2027. The Announcement At the World Economic Forum in Davos, Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic took the stage and dropped a futuristic bombshell. By Expo 2027 in Belgrade, flying cars will be flying above our heads. Not only that, but talks are already underway with Archer Aviation, an American company specializing in electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, or EVTOLs. Basically, drones you can ride in. Imagine calling an Uber, but instead of sitting in traffic, you're zipping over it in a futuristic pod. Global partners in the sky. And Serbia isn't just talking to the U.S., they're also looking east. China has already tested and showcased flying cars in urban settings. One company in particular, Xpeng Aero HT, has caught Serbia's attention. Here's a cool twist. Serbian racing driver Dusan Borkovic actually flew in an Xpeng flying car during his trip to China. He loved it so much, he told everyone back home, and soon Xpeng's leadership started eyeing Serbia as a potential partner. Think about it. Serbia, sandwiched between east and west, could become a little futuristic hub for flying taxis. The road, or air, to 2027. Now, let's not get too carried away. Flying cars don't just drop from the sky, and well, actually they do drop if the battery dies, but you get what I mean. For Serbia to pull this off, they'll need regulations. Air traffic laws aren't ready for hundreds of mini-helicopters buzzing over Belgrade. Infrastructure. Think landing pads, charging stations, air corridors, safety tests. Because the last thing you want is rush hour turning into mid-air bumper cars. The government says all of this should be prepared by mid-2026, just in time to wow the world at Expo 2027. So, Serbia's got less than two years to build not just the cars, but an entire ecosystem around them. The skepticism. Now. Here's where the story takes a funny turn. While some people are excited, a lot of Serbians are rolling their eyes. Why? Because Belgrade has been waiting decades for a subway. Yep, the city still doesn't have one. So critics are saying, if we can't get trains underground, how are we going to get cars to fly above our heads? Fair question, right? It's like promising a Mars colony when you haven't fixed the potholes on Main Street. Vision versus reality. This is what makes the story so juicy. On one hand, you've got Vucic painting Serbia as a futuristic, modern nation ready to lead Europe into the sky. On the other hand, you've got citizens saying, uh-huh, sure, maybe fix traffic lights first. And honestly, this tension is what makes Expo 2027 so important. Serbia has a unique chance to prove the skeptics wrong. Even just showcasing a few flying cars would put Belgrade in the spotlight, not as the country that still needs a subway, but as the country that brought the Jetsons to life. Why this matters globally. Flying cars aren't just a Serbian dream. Companies in the U.S., China, and even the Middle East are racing to dominate the skies. Whoever pulls this off first could control the next revolution in urban transport. Think about it. Instead of highways, we'll have skyways. Instead of taxis, we'll have drone fleets. Instead of traffic jams, well, okay, we'll still have traffic jams, but vertically stacked instead of side by side. Progress. Final thoughts. So, will Serbia really get flying cars by 2027? Maybe. Will they still be waiting for that subway at the same time? Definitely. But hey, isn't that what makes life interesting? Dreaming of the future while laughing at the present? Either way, You've got to give credit where it's due. This bold vision has people talking about Serbia on the world stage. And even if the skies don't fill with flying cars, the idea itself is already a win in the PR department. Until then, I'll keep my robot feet firmly on the ground.
but I'll be first in line to hop on a flying taxi when it's ready. Thanks for joining me on Let Me Explain 101. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments, would you ride in a Serbian flying car or are you waiting for that subway first?